हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक सर्च हेल्प एग्जिट एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी आर कवरिंग कॉल कंट्रोल स्टेप्स वी फिनिश्ड विद सेल वन स्टेप then we took few requirements and we achieved through pre sell step now we will take further requirements and we will see how we can achieve or which call control step we will use to achieve those requirements now what customer is saying suppose firstly before taking the requirement i will go to our search help exit and i will comment a code i will comment this particular code you all know in the previous video why i have written this statement because we want to suppress that dialog pop up now we want that dialog pop up based upon our current requirement now i will go to back button now i change the code yes but yes whenever i will just run this search help yes sap will not refresh the code yes so what you can do in that case you can come to this search help again and this is the main thing which maximum people ask while doing the practical they will change the code but they will say okay i am not getting that changes So you just have to do one thing. Come to the session again. Now suppose if I am running this search help, I we have to ignore this pop up. Now you can see dialog pop up is coming because we now we commented that line. I will go for okay, and we got the result. Now what customer is saying? customer is saying only authorized people can display that data or only authorized people can see that data rest cannot see that data suppose we have a user who is running the search help suppose this search help we are using in a program customer is clicking on to f4 button those user who are authorized suppose up to this level everyone will see the pop up after this who after this we are clicking on to okay button the users are clicking on to okay button the users which are authorized can display the data or can see the data others will not be able to see that data and this is real world and this kind of requirements always come only authorized people can see unauthorized people cannot see then how how we will achieve and say it's just common understanding at all because we cover so many times about the call control sequence of step suppose i am putting enter now before this pop up pre sell step called and we got the selection condition on to this pop up whenever we will go for okay select will call call control step will be select it will select the data after select disp will be there after disp it will display the data it will display the data it means after disp we need to check if the user is authorized we will display the data else we will not display the data see we need to write the logic after this only because after this we can check yes the user is authorized or not if after this user is authorized we will display if user is not authorized we will delete so this is the requirement we will achieve now we will take a requirement we will now we will see how we can achieve this requirement now what customer is saying or anyways it's a functional responsibility the functional will suggest how we can achieve this requirement so what we will do what functional is saying okay 
I will provide I uh, first but functional will say there is a there will be a table in that table whatever the users are there they are authorized others are not authorized so we will go for this particular thing so what we will do I will create a table in that table we will maintain the users so whatever the users are maintained only they will be able to see the data else will not be able to see that data and SAP provided a clear documentation just see why why I am going for this because SAP provided the documentation also for the same if I will go to this you can see this step is called where before the selected data is displayed yes whenever we want to display the data before that the step is this here you can modify or reduce the data based upon the user authority yes whoever is authorized we will display else we will not display yes we can modify or reduce the data also suppose if the customer is saying okay only authorized users can see that credit card entries else will not be able to see the credit card entries then what we will do if the user is authorized we will simply simply display the credit card entries if the user is not authorized we will delete the credit card entries so now we will just go for a requirement if user is authorized we will display all the data if user is not authorized we will not display the data and we will use which step this this now i will go to sc11 transaction code firstly we will create a table i will go to database table we all know uh, whenever we are creating our own objects the first letter should be z or y suppose i am saying z authorization or i'll say suppose z users i will go for create or i will say give the description list of authorized users i will choose the delivery class i will choose the delivery class as c c means customizing and this data will be maintained by the customer i will choose display maintenance and out i will go to fields we all know first field we are always taking ma and dt data element ma and dt we want to maintain the users so i will suppose give the name u name and i will use sap data element itself suppose u name okay character 12 username now i will assign the primary keys you all know ma and dt by default primary key we are taking and username is the primary key if you see this data element this data element has a domain of character 12. now i will go to technical settings i will pass the data class I will go for AWP L2 because we are going for customizing. So it will go to that particular portion of database. Size category, I will take zero. I will save. Okay. In your system, might be you are not getting this. In the latest system, SAP has given this. So you can simply put test. Save. I will go to back. And I will activate. Now we will maintain the users into this table. So we need to create table maintenance generator. So I will go to utilities. 
टेबल मेंटेनेंस जेनरेटर नाउ ऑथराइजेशन ग्रुप I will put M percent and C M percent. You all know, no check means any user can maintain that data. By default, table name is in the function group. I will go for first step. Find screen number. Now I will create it. I will save, save, save. so we have our generating the table maintenance generator now i will go to sm30 transaction code you all know you can maintain data through sm30 i will go for edit suppose in this table i will put my user name suppose i am putting my user name r mahal this is my sap login id i will say it means i am authorized to maintain i am authorized to display the search help data whatever the data is coming then i will remove this entry and show you i will not be able to see that data now i will go for our search help exit and we will write the logic very very easy i will go to change mode of the function module or search help exit now i will write if we need to write as a part of this this because after this only that data is getting displayed so we need to display or not display we should check after this it is very important to understand the step so i am writing call control hyphen step is equal to this i will go for and if now how how we will see yes the user is authorized or not so now what is my login id what is my sap login id r mehta r mehta okay so we will check if the user login is into this table it means user is authorized else user is not authorized and you all know what is the system variable for user name the system variable for user name is sai u name sai u name you all know every system variable starts with sy sy it's a system variable for user name and i will write a simple query you will 100% understand how we will do so i will write select now we all know at a time only single user will log in so i will fetch the single so i will write select single u name what is the column name in your table u name if you see in that table what the column name we gave u name from select single u name from what is our database table this is our database table into i will put a variable suppose i am writing lv underscore user and what is the where condition where u name is equal to sai u name now if rather than variable you want to take internal table or you want to directly take a work directly want to take a work area it is totally totally your wish because you all know username is the primary key you are passing the username so you will always always get a single record yes and you all know at a time we see i am the user so i am login i am the only user who is using this system i am the only user who is logged in this in this system so i will simply simply check 
Now, how this query will work? What will be the Sai U name? R Mahata. So U name is equal to R Mahata. It will check into this table. Is R Mahata is there? Yes, R Mahata is there. If R Mahata is there, Sai Sabharsi will be zero. It means I am authorized. If the Sai U name, suppose R Mahata, if I will delete from this table, so this query will give the size of RC other than zero. So in that case, the user is not authorized. So I will simply write if size of RC not equal to zero. If user is not authorized. Now, most important thing, you all know your records are coming into which internal table when I explained the search help parameter, your records are coming into record underscore tab. If user is not authorized, we will refresh this internal table. You all know with the help of refresh, you can refresh the contents of internal table. I'll check the syntax. Okay, I need to declare lb underscore user. Sorry, I forgot to declare. Data. lb underscore user type unit. Do not confuse with this variable. When I did the practice, I declared this. I'll check the syntax and activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, again, we took a requirement which we will achieve through our call control step. What is the requirement? Only authorized user can see the data. Others cannot see the data of the search help. Now, the first important thing is we need to understand we need to use which step to write the logic. Once the step is disp, after that your data is getting displayed. It means after disp, if the user is authorized, we will display. If user is not authorized, we will not display. Then as a part of that, we created a table because functional told we I want a table in that table whatever the user is maintained they can make, they can go for viewing the data of the search help so we created a table because table creation is technical person responsibility it's a app consultant responsibility in that table we created the table maintenance generator i maintained my user id then in the search help exit as a part of this, I have written a query. You all know which system variable is giving the login ID, login name of login ID of the user, SAP user, that is Sai U name. So I put if the whatever the user is, whatever the user is working, whatever the user is using the system, if that is maintained into this table, they are authorized. If the user is not maintained, size sub RC will be other than zero. And we are refreshing the record tab because ultimately record tab is the data. Record tab are the records which are viewing to the user. In the next video, whenever I will show you in the debugging mode, you will get the full clarity how we are getting the extracted output. So that's it in this video. Thank you.